Hello YouTube, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to download and install iTunes on your computer. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by opening up an internet browser and going out to www.apple.com slash iTunes. Once there, go ahead and click on the Download iTunes button and that will take you to the iTunes download page. Um, on this page, you can leave a check mark here if you want iTunes special offers and leave a check mark here if you want news and software updates right here. All right, be sure to put your email address right here if you want to get those items and then click on download now button and that'll initiate the download um, prompt on IE and it asks me what I want to do and in this case I want to go over here and do a save as I like save as versus save because that way I can pick my directory where I can where I want to download my file and I'm going to put it in downloads and click on save and then it'll start the download process here doesn't take too long to download um, but it does depend on the speed of your internet service and the performance of your computer but once it's done, in my case, I got this prompt here, and I'm going to click on Run, and that'll initiate the install process, or at least the setup process, not the install yet, um, at any rate. Um, and I can go ahead and minimize this so we can all see this clearly. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click on Next, and I'm going to click on Install. Now, during the install process, you'll get a prompt from uh, Microsoft Windows 7, if you're installing it on 7, um, asking you to um, authorize the install. Um, go ahead and click on uh, yes. Go ahead and authorize the install on your computer. And that will continue installing iTunes for you on your computer. Now, um, once it is completed, um, in this case, I'm going to click on Finish, and it will launch iTunes for me automatically and put a, a, uh, um, an icon on my desktop for iTunes as well. Okay, um, when iTunes launches for the first time on your computer, it wants to know if you want iTunes to be your default media player. I like it. I say yes. And then I get this little prompt here that's uh, for file association. That way everything, um, all my media gets played on iTunes default media player. And I'm going to click on save here. All right. Um, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoy iTunes. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to click on my subscribe button.